Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can make the DSCP server. We will take one router and we are going to configure the DSCP server inside the router. So this is the router I am using and then I will take one switch. I will connect one switch here and then I will take some PC here. Okay, so this is a basic lab for DSCP. So let's do, I will take this is a cable. I am using the automatic cable to connect all this device and we are going to configure the DSCP inside the router. So this is my router, I can say this is the router name is R1 and here we will assign the IP 192.168.1.100 okay slash 24. So this will be the gateway and here we are going to configure and first of all we need to assign this IP to this interface. So I will open this CLI of this router and then I am going to do the configuration so i will write here enable config t host name here r1 and then first i will assign the ip interface f0 by 0 ip address let me write here ip address 192.168.1.100 give space 255.255.255.0 i will write here no shirt okay and exit and write here ip dscp pool and we can give any name of the pool I am using the ABC and network and right here what will be the network we are going to use we are going to use 1.100 and the subnet mass will be 255.255.0 and default router that is gateway will be 192.168.1.100 and here we can say we can check what more option is coming here option uh, let's see option 48 or whatever the codes are coming here let's see okay but anyhow I don't want you to confuse here we have the option also like example if we are using the WLC controller so we will use the option in the DSCP like if you are using the control example option 43 we are calling like option 43 and then press question mark and IP address we need to write here IP address of the WLC controller we need to write in the hexadecimal format but now we don't have the WLC controller so do, we will not use this option but remember if you are uh, your WLC controller and also your what we can say your access point or your DS, uh, your access point and the WLC controller both are in the different network in the different uh, broadcast domain then we need to define the option 43 in the DSCP server so what is the meaning of that one means in the option 43 we will say that DSCP server that this is the IP of the WLC controller so whenever access point is looking to connect to the WLC controller whenever they will get the IP from the DSCP they will get this information also okay but anyhow we don't want to use DNS we can configure now we are not having any DNS but anyhow I will configure and I need to exclude some IP so I can say IP DSCP exclude address I will exclude one IP only the one which we are using as a gateway that's all this is a configuration I will save the configuration after that you can go to any computer and click here and wait you will get the IP from the DSCP you can see you are getting the IP 192.168.1.1 and uh, subnet mass is the default subnet mass we are getting and the default gate page 192.168.1.100 and DNS we configure 8.8.8 .8 .8. so we are getting that one same thing I can do here okay same thing we can do here see here also I am getting the IP and same thing here we can do and we can try here see here now it is getting IP from the w, this from the DSCP server which we configure in the router so we can configure the DSCP server in the switch in router anywhere like you can configure in the Windows server in the Linux server but anyhow we learn here how to configure the DSCP in the router and no need to worry about this DSCP option 43 DSCP option 43 just you remember actually when you have the WLC controller and the access point access point need to connect to the WLC controller if they are in the broadcast same broadcast means same subnet directly they can connect but imagine your WLC controller present in the head office 
an access point in the broad, um, branch office then we need to define the DSCP option 43 or even you have the different uh, what we can say broadcast domain we need to define DSCP option 43 this option we are using that is nothing but we are informing to the client that WLC controller IP so how to configure means just you will go here so you can ignore now if you don't want this option 43 this is also interview question what is DSCP option 43 but anyhow first you learn how to configure this DSCP okay thank you bye